hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install raspberry pi desktop os formerly known as raspbian on your windows machine with the help of virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see i'm currently running poppy linux you can run windows mac os and many other operating systems virtually on your host computer now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox so head to your chrome browser or any other browser you use and then search for virtualbox now you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox, click on it. And by the left, click on Downloads. So this is VirtualBox for different operating systems. We are installing it on the Windows machine, so click on Windows Host and it should start downloading. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to cancel it. So the installation method is just like every other software. If you find it difficult to install, then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox. Now the next thing we have to download is Raspberry Pi OS ISO file. So search for Raspberry Pi Desktop OS. And you can see over here Raspberry Pi Desktop for PC and Mac. So click on it. Now scroll down. Click on the download button over here and it should start downloading. Now this file is 3.3 GB, so just start downloading. I already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel it. So once you finish downloading Raspberry Pi and finish installing VirtualBox, you can proceed with the next steps. Now open your download folder and you can see this is our Raspberry Pi OS which we downloaded. The size is 3.35 GB. Now let's open our VirtualBox. Create a new virtual machine by clicking on new up here. Now, so I'm going to call this machine Raspbian. Now, set the type to Linux. And then let's set the version to Debian 64 bits. Now, go to the hardware section and increase the base memory, which is the RAM. So, I'm going to go with 6 GB since I am running on 16 GB on my PC. Now you shouldn't give more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer and you won't be able to use your virtual machine as well. Increase the processor cost, so I'm going to give it 3 since I can give up to 8 CPU cost. Now you can see the recommended section over here, 1 to 4 then from 5 to 8 is not recommended. So I'm just going to go with 3. Now click on the hard disk and increase the hard disk space you want to allocate to this machine. Now I'm going to go with 90 gig. 90 gig is ok. Now click on finish. So we've successfully created a new virtual machine. Now we have to make few changes by clicking on settings. Now go to system. This is the base memory RAM which we can change whenever we want. This is the processor we can change as well. Now go to display and then enable 3D acceleration. Increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Now go to storage and then click on empty under controller. Now click on this disk icon over here and then click on choose a disk file. Select a Raspberry Pi OS file we downloaded. So you can see the ISO file over here. Click on open. Click on OK. Now once we start, we can begin the installation. So click on start. Now go with graphical install. So you just screw down to graphical install. And then hit enter. And then choose your language. I'm just going to go with British English. Continue. So we are going to go with guided use entire disk. Since we want to use the entire disk for the OS. So let's continue. This is the hard disk which is selected. Continue. All files in one partition. Yes. Continue. And then click on continue to finish partition and write changes to disk. Now let's go with yes, write changes to the disk, continue. So it has initiated the installation. This may take some time depending on the resources you are located to your virtual machine. So you just have to wait. Select yes to install Jira bootloader and then continue. Now select the drive and then continue.
and a Raspberry Pi desktop OS has been successfully installed. Now click continue. So it should boot into a Raspberry Pi OS. Now click on next and then set your country, your language and your time zone. Next. Enter your name, your password you want to use to access your machine. And then next. Okay. Let's just keep the update. And once we click on restart, it should launch Raspberry Pi. Just allow it, it will boot by itself. And here we go. So basically, this is how to install Raspberry Pi on your Windows machine with the help of VirtualBox. Now you can actually change the resolution by clicking on Raspberry Pi. Go to Preference and then go to Screen Configuration. Now right click on the screen and then go to Resolution. So here is where you can switch up the resolution based on what you want. And you can see this is not really the correct resolution. So I'm just going to go to my PC resolution and then confirm. So I can set it the same way. So my PC resolution is 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to set it the same way here. Okay, we don't have that here, but we have something close. So let's go with that. And you can see it is actually working well. Now you can also view full screen by clicking on view and then full screen mode. So you can use your Raspberry Pi on full screen mode. So basically, this is how to install and run Raspberry Pi on your Windows 11 machine with the help of VirtualBox. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.